Comrie, yeah, Comrie was uh, rock solid. Uh, it's not an easy game coming back after six weeks or whatever it's been. Um, you know, we're, we're tired, got in at like two in the morning. Toronto was fresh. They were the top team in the division. So it was a real stiff test. Um, I thought we played real strong team defense in front of him, but I thought he made the game easy on us. Uh, he was calm. He's got a real calm demeanor in the net. I thought his rebound control was excellent. Uh, and, and I thought he played a really mature, calm game, uh, which was impressive considering how long he's been out. You know, Soup's played so good. Um, I think, you know, as a, as a coach in the American League, uh, there's just things that are outside of your control all the time. Um, Call-ups and, and injuries and, you know, conditioning stints. And, you know, there's sometimes your, your bosses tell you this is the way it's going to be and Comrie's coming down and he gets he needs to play. And, and as an American League coach, that, that you have to do those things. And, and that's just part of the job, so you don't even think about it. You just, you just execute it. Well, it's one of those games that, and we talked about this in, in the morning at the hotel in our meeting. Um, as a coach, you probably look at your 72 game schedule and there's like four or five that you look and you're like, we're set up to fail today. Like this, this is supposed to be a loss. Um, we're in them three and four. You, you, we were home. We got into the hotel at 1.45 in the morning. Uh, and we have to play at four in the afternoon. Toronto's sitting there rested and fresh didn't play the night before so how you win those games is is not pretty um you're not going to go you don't have as much legs you're not as energetic um you have to win a, a hard greasy low scoring road game um and we found a way to win i think two of those in toronto last year and we talked about this and we we got in the playoffs by one point over them and so you never know where those points are going to matter. Um, and so we just wanted to get ourselves the best chance to be successful. And the best chance to be successful Saturday was playing really smart, sound team defense and manage the puck um, to give ourselves a chance to win a low scoring game. Has the absence of the loan for saying the right now? I mean, who's really picked up the slack? It's been, our forward group has been by committee with, with those guys out, right? Rosine, Kulik, Malone are three of our top six, you know. So um, it has been by committee. I think that, you know, the Byro rusek murray line was excellent this last week. I thought Linus Weisbach had a, had a fabulous weekend of hockey. Um, uh, not only on the scoreboard, but, but his defensive detail was probably as high as it's, it's been in his, his year plus with us. Uh, he helped us win a game with his habits and his details defensively, not just his offense. So that I thought he was outstanding. The ops had a really strong week, you know. But two guys that don't always get a ton of, of credit, right? Olashevsky and Warren gave us really good minutes on Saturday. Um, Warren did the whole week, but uh, Olashevsky and Warren were on the ice five on six uh, at the end of the game, and. and and those are moments that, you, as a coach, you put players on the ice that you trust. And those guys have earned that trust. They've been so good defensively. They give us so much energy in that game uh, that, that we just felt like they were the guys to lock it down and, and bring the game home for us, and they did a great job. Uh, Warren has earned trust over the season. Bill Shusky hasn't played in that many games for you. Where is he earning your trust at? Uh, Olashevsky's earned trust in, in practice. Um, training camp, rookie camp. End of last year, like some when, when he was down in Cincinnati at, at times this year, it's really it was just more numbers than than our feel about Olszewski. Uh, as a coach, and we've all we all feel this way about him. We've talked about it. Uh, Olszewski's a guy that you feel good when you put it when you call his name. You call his name, you feel pretty confident about what's going to happen for the next forty seconds. It's going to execute your team play. It's going to make smart, sound puck decisions. He's competitive. Uh, he's good defensively. He can play center. He can play wing. He's a good penalty killer. So there's a lot of things about uh, his game that that are trustworthy. Um, you know, he played for two coaches in college at Denver and Providence. Very good coaches. Coaches I'm familiar with, um, and, and they they echoed those things. He's a player that you can trust in a lot of different situations.
We talked about the physical battles that this week has ahead. How do you replicate that? Oh, the, this is going to be a physical week. Belleville is Belleville. We know that. But Lehigh Valley is a heavy physical team. Uh, and Syracuse, obviously, is a heavy uh, veteran team as well. So, uh, you know, we don't replicate it much in practice because you also don't want to beat the guys up in practice uh, too much. Um, so practice today was, was more about skill and decision making. Um, and that's normally Monday for us. Um, I, I just believe firmly that your decision making and your skill – can be enhanced in practice um, if you practice that way. And, and that's our job to make our players better. So I think the physicality, there's, we do some of it in practice, but you try to limit some of that. Uh, you want your practices competitive, but not always dramatically physical um, because three games a week is, is already hard enough. Danny, anything from you? Is, is there a plan for Comrie? Is it just a game-by-game -game basis or what? Uh, yeah, there's a plan for Comrie. I'm just not going to share it publicly. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Murray with a heavy crash into the boards there, and after the game looked like he was wincing a little bit. Is he all right? Uh, Brett Murray is okay. Uh, he went in hard. What, what a brave play that was uh, to be first to that puck, negate the icing, and put himself in a vulnerable position. Um, that was an important play because we needed to get guys off the ice because we were tired at the end of a long shift in the second period. So uh, he is okay. It's just a bruise, um, and, and our trainer's been working on it, and he was at practice today, and he was fine. Great job in finishing 2022. Continue it to 2023. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Appreciate it. Happy New Year.